gonna make you famous. First off, can I get you to state your name first and last, and who are you with? I'm Shane Ward. I'm working for a company called RoboTeam North America. They're a subsidiary of RoboTeam Israel. Okay, and what is your purpose out here today? Uh, we're working with a vibrant response team, giving them robotic systems called the Microtactical Ground Robot. It is used for subterranean and external use for reconnaissance, ISR, and search and rescue missions. Okay, how do you think that this uh, piece of equipment would be important in this situation? These smaller robots are starting to become more popular because it keeps, keeps people out of the environment. As you can put a system in the place instead of a human body, it helps keep people safer while being able to do the same mission and getting into confined spaces that a person normally couldn't get into. Okay. How do you think your cooperation with the uh, Army has been as far as your robot? Has it received you well? Or? Uh, the Army is ecstatic with the systems. They've actually been, they're within the Army as well. They're distributed to Special Forces and EOD units for ISR and EOD missions. Okay. That's good. All right, and I saw your robot in, early, in action early. It's mm -hmm. actually really, really cool. Yeah. Could you describe some of the capabilities of it? Yeah, the robot right now is designed to be a man portable system. A lot of the older robotic systems were too heavy for people to carry around with them. They realized that situations weren't permitting them to take vehicles into certain environments. They needed something that a user could carry the system. So with this system, it gives you a small robot. So any person on your team can carry it. It has seven cameras for 360 degree video capabilities. It takes video, screenshot, the manipulator arm helps you move suspect devices, clear objects out of the way. Currently the lightest system capable of going up and down stairs, slope sides, and it, they also run off a relay network so these systems communicate with each other so they can increase their own range. Instead of running out of comms range, you just send a second system down and it'll increase the range of your first system. Is there anything else you'd like to say about your uh, system or your company that you haven't already told us? Uh, no, I think that pretty much covers it. I mean, the, the army is already starting to field these. The whole army as a, as a mass is starting to see the benefits of robotic systems for not even just ISR and EOD purposes. They're starting to see the benefits for chemical environments, catastrophic events such as this. The fire departments are starting to see the uses for them for the same environments. Uh, we even have border patrol units using them as well to search tunnels and all those environments that they go into.